Work. Work. So you Work. recently tweeted that you and Amber were gonna be sick at the VMAs. Yeah. Now you have a very like I call it the skinny guy swag. Yeah. You know, so what can we expect? Like what can we see happening with you and Amber? Just a little so what we're you're gonna wearing? look like we don't speak English. Hmm. Yeah. You wanna tell us designers? You no, see here? I gave you something, man. That's that's all I can give you. Speaking of Amber, she was on your last project. Mm -hmm. You know, she had her little debut. Can we expect her on this album? See, she's not on there yet. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put her on there. I usually always find a place for her. Like, even if it's like something that I do, I'll just cut myself out of there and put her in there. Just so my baby can get a little piece of that. Cause she deserves it. You know, you're kind of the artist that most gossip blogs don't write about. Now you have this public relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you deal with, you know, the gossip and the backlash of things, just people kind of in your business, people judging her? It's cool, because nobody understands me, man. Like, if anybody really knew me and they were talking about me, then that would mean something. But, like, people don't know shit. So the album is called Only Niggas in First Class. Mm -hmm. So tell us your worst experience in first class. Worst experience in la first class. Yo, I was going to Europe. I think I was watching a movie on my computer and shit. So I'm watching a movie and the lady brings the food. So I have my computer right here and I have the, the tray with my food right here. And she walks past like really fast and really like rudely and just knocks everything onto me. Like, orange juice, fucking, like, my computer, everything. And then gets mad at me. She's like, you, uh, I'm like, what the fuck, do you know, like, dude, what you just did? Like, I seen you. And she got pissed at me, and she was screaming, and blah, blah, blah. She was like, uh, and then she went up to the front. She was like, what's your name? I'm like, what is my name? What do you mean, what is my name? He's like, no, because I need to know who to tell, blah, 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 that this is going on. I was like, go out there and ask them my name. Like, really kindly, that's how I said I was like, go up there and ask them my name. And she came back, all of her attitude was gone. And she was like, I'm so sorry, this was a big misunderstanding. I, you know, blah, blah, blah. Can I get an autograph from my kid? I was like, yes, absolutely. But get this shit off my shirt, <laughs> bitch. I didn't call her a bitch in my head, the B word. I want to get your thoughts on, you know, Snoop is made that transition to Snoop Lion. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? I love it, man. He's going into a peaceful zone. He's going into a spiritual zone where you get to know yourself and you really like, man, he's going where a lot of people are scared to go. So you got to respect it. Mac and Dev. Are we gonna get a part two soon? Are you guys gonna start shooting that? Yeah, we're gonna start shooting another one. We're gonna have to figure it out with, uh, with Mac having dreads now. <laughs> but we'll make it work though. Tell us a little bit about the album. You know, what we can expect production-wise who you're working with, feature-wise, just what place you're in as you were recording this. Yeah, the album is a really musical album. Definitely something to smoke to, something to ride to. But it's it's really, like lyrically, you know, you can tell where I'm at in my life. You know what I'm saying? I try to, do each of my projects, I try to like let you know exactly what's going on with me. So with this one, you could tell, you know, some of the things I've been through in a good way, in a fun way, in a, in a real interesting way where it's like, man, he's telling us some shit that we don't know about him. You know what I mean? So I think like it's the album that people really, really want from me right now in my career at this point. Like that's what it is. Like, you know, if I would have made it last year, I don't know if it would have made sense. If I had made it next year, it might be too late. But right now, like it's perfect. Yo, what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa with all that skinny man swag. Right now, you're watching Civil TV. I'm Karen Civil. You bitch. That's what I'm puffing. OG. And been once since I was young enough to know that everybody.